guys, how we doing? Steph again. Uh, these are my very nice reading glasses. Everyone makes fun of me when I wear them. Actually, a really funny story. When I first started college, um, I didn't have them, and I didn't know that I was like half blind. And um, I kept getting really bad headaches, so I went to the doctor, and I told me I had astigmatism in one of my eyes. <laughs> so the next day, I show up with these glasses on, and there's this kid in front of me, and he turns around, he keeps staring at me, turns back around, he's like, not to be mean or anything, but you look so much better without glasses. <laughs> so I was like, thanks, but I need them. <laughs> so <laughs> little did he know that I became a model. I'm just kidding. But yeah, <clears throat> thought that was really funny and interesting. I was like, oh, sorry. <laughs> um, oh, here's my little dog who just keeps opening my door. They're in and out, little dog. So, today I'm going to tell you a little bit about the other day, um, I remember I won the challenge for um, doing runway, there was, we met with Mariana, our runway coach, and we had to walk in the park, in Central Park, when I say walk, I mean like runway walk, and me, MJ, and Krita all won the challenge, so we all got to walk around in, um, in a run in a real fashion show with real designers. And it was awesome. Our first designer was Jennifer, and the other one was Anna, Anastasia. And um, both their clothing clothing was pretty much, was a lot alike, but at the same time, it was very different. Like, Jennifer's was really um, bohemian. There was, like, really nice, it was awesome. Loved the clothing. Like, I got to wear um, boy shorts. Um, with like a tank top with like a big flower on it. And it was a little bit low cut. And then the second outfit I wore was just like a shirt dress. You know, it's like you could wear them with leggings, but you could technically wear it as a dress. And um, they were just really nice, comfortable fabrics and really, really cool looking. They're really different, so that's why I really like them. And then Anna's we did, um, I did like um, kind of like a see-through shirt, but it had like print across there. And it was like really sweet looking, like really nice pretty colors and I wore leggings with that and really obnoxiously large heels so because <laughs> I the shoes I brought they actually didn't like so they were like I'll wear these and they were actually two sizes too big for me so I had to stuff the entire shoe with toilet paper which is so uncomfortable and make sure I didn't fall because two sizes is a big difference there but you know what? That's what you gotta do in this kind of business. You just kind of go with it and make it work. So, and then my other outfit for her was I'm trying to think. Oh, I had like this skirt thing. And it was all different fabrics, um, and they were all like shredded looking, so they kind of like flew in the air. Like, not ruffled, and, but they were really. It was really cool looking. And then I had a nice white top that went with it. It was really really cute. So make sure you guys watch that episode because it should be really awesome. And we were in this awesome club in the meatpacking district, and it was um, it was great. There was it's called Club One um, on One Little West Twelfth Street, and you walked in and like the whole there was a runway. They built a runway for us inside the club, so like everyone was sitting right on the sides. So we got there at like seven. I didn't end up leaving until like 2 o'clock in the morning. It was crazy. Um, but we did makeup and stuff. We had really crazy, crazy um, eyelashes. And, but our makeup was really just clean and natural. Just pretty looking. And then for the first designer, we had our hair in like these really awesome braids that were like in, in up and stuff. And um, it's like nerve wracking. There's tons of people down there helping you get ready. And then you like can just hear it like, the, like, it's a club. Like, there's a lot of people. It was really scary for me because this is the first time I ever did a runway show. And especially for the fact that I was the shortest one. I was like five, I'm like 5'2, five 5'3. Five and all the other girls there are like really, really tall. And I, so, like, for me, even just winning the challenge was like, wow, you know, I, you know, I don't know if I could ever be a runway model because I am so short, but it, it kind of just gives you, makes you feel good. It gives you hope that, like, you know, maybe there is a, at the end of the tunnel, this maybe you can do something even if you are short, you know. So all my short girls will know what I'm talking about. And um, 
But it's like nerve wracking. So what we had to do is we'll walk up the steps and then they would cue us and there was cameras everywhere. And it was pitch black in the club. Except for the room when you get on the runway and there was like these bright spotlights. So like you could barely see when you got on. And like the rug on the runway was like kind of like up. So you like could trip over anything. But it's it's like you walk up the stairs and you just your heart is beating so fast that you kinda of like don't hear what people are saying. And you just hear the music and it's just so loud, but you don't know what the words are. You just hear it. And then they just tell you to go and you're just like walking and you're supposed to look serious and just feel it and, you know, and just kind of bring it out, your attitude and bring out that, you know, this is me. And then you get to the end of runway and you can hear everyone yelling and then you just see nothing because there's all lights, but there's all cameras really sitting there taking your picture. And it's so quick that you're just kind of like, oh my God. Then you go to the other side of the runway and like there's people standing at the end of the runway and they're just like staring at you and you're supposed to still be in like character. I mean, people think when you're modeling, you're just so serious faces, but it's really a character you're playing. You know, you really are thinking. You really want to show that emotion of what you're thinking about. So sometimes they say, like, create a story in your head, like you're a princess and you're coming here and you're royal and stuff and all these people are looking up to you. That's what I like to think about because I would love to be a princess. But then, like, you go back run down the stairs because the next girl's coming, so you run and, like, it <laughs> doesn't matter what heels are, you're running. And then there's, like, four people downstairs just ripping off all your clothes, and you're, like, completely naked staying there, and you're just kind of like, oh, my God. <laughs> like, everyone's touching me. What's happening? <laughs> and then you're, all of a sudden you're in another outfit, and you're just all over again. And it was so quick, and you had to change so fast, and I couldn't believe it. And But it was a lot of fun. And the adrenaline rush, it's kind of like a roller coaster. Before you get on, you're terrified, and all the anticipation is killing you. And then once you do it, you're like, oh, that was awesome. So that's kind of what it felt like, for me at least. But it was a lot of fun. The girls who worked with were great. So Sammy. It was great working with them. So yeah. I don't know. Hopefully I get the chance to do that again. And um hope you guys watch because it's awesome when you get to see the club and all the clothes we're wearing. Some girls are wearing some crazy stuff, so make sure you watch. I don't want to ruin the surprise because it's awesome and wait till you see it. But um definitely watch and keep keep posted, all right? So that's me. This is Steph going out. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm getting ready to go to bed, actually, because I have to be up tomorrow to go to New York. But let's get my beauty sleep. So I'll talk to you guys soon.